Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to compare two or three categories using a barbell chart. We usually use pie chart, bar chart or donor charts to compare two or more categories in Tableau. But today we will see an advanced chart type that will let you easily visualize the comparison between different categories. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I am comparing the sales between East and West region for different subcategories using a barbell chart. So from the title you can figure out that East region is represented by the orange circle and the West region is represented by the blue circle and the line between these two circles give us the difference in sales between the two regions. So in case of accessories subcategory the sales that was done in the East region was 45,000 and the sales that was done in case of West region was 61,000. Then further if we go to appliances the sales in the West region was 30,000 and the sales in the East region was more than the sales in West region that is 34,000. So smaller the line smaller will be the difference in sales between the two regions and larger the length of the line more will be the difference in sales between the two regions. The name of this chart type is dumbbell or barbell chart because it looks like a dumbbell that are used in the gym. So these two circles are representing the weights and the connecting line represents the rod that is holding both the weights. So this chart type lets you easily visualize the comparison between the two regions. Now let's jump to Tableau and see how to create a barbell chart. First drag subcategory to the row shelf. Then drag sales to the column shelf. Let's change the fit to entire view. We need to compare sales of east and west region for different subcategories. So drag region to color. Also drag region to the filter shelf and select only east and west. Click on OK. Now to create a dual axis chart drag one more sales to the column shelf. Press control on the keyboard and drag sales next to the already present sales field. From the drop down select dual axis and also let's synchronize both the axis. Right click on axis and click on synchronize axis. Now keep the mark type of first sales field as circle and change the mark type of second sales field to line because we want a line connecting these two dots. So select line. Now you will observe that the line is connecting the subcategories. Just observe this orange line. It is starting from accessories then going to appliances then further to art and till tables but we want these lines to connect these two circles that represent west and east region so just drag region to the path and remove region from the color let's increase the size of these circles go to this first sales field go to size and increase the size of these circles You will observe that the lines are visible in the front. To move these lines at the back, just right click on the axis and select move marks to back. So here we have a barbell chart that is comparing sales of west 
and the east region for different subcategories and the line shows the difference in sales between the two regions in case of accessories the sales in east region is 45000 and the sales in west region is 61000 so smaller the line smaller will be the difference in sales between the east and the west region and in case of tables the sales in east region is 39000 and the sales in west region is 84000 there is a lot of difference in sales between the east and the west region so longer the line more will be the difference in sales between the two regions let's hide this top axis right click uncheck show header let's hide this field label right click and click on hide field labels now let's also remove the grid lines right click click on format then go to borders from here select none for the row divider then select none for the column divider then go to lines from here go to columns select none for the grid lines and select none for the zero lines now let's edit the title double click on the title maybe we can give the title as comparison of sales between east and west region let's give orange color to the east region go to more colors then click on pick screen color and select this orange color click on ok and click on bold let's select blue color for the west go to color then go to more colors click on pick screen color and select this blue color for the west region click on ok click on bold click on ok now directly from the title we can figure out that the orange dot is representing the east region and the blue dot is representing the west region lastly instead of these circles we can also use different shapes for the east and the west region so go to the first sales field from the mark type select shape and drag region to shape now you can select any shape from the already existing shapes or you can also add any other shape to the tableau repository i have already added these gender images for this tutorial purpose let me select female image for the east region and select male image for the west region these shapes i have already downloaded from the internet and then added to the tableau repository click on ok i have already created a video where i have shown how to add custom shapes in tableau i have added the link of that video in the description below and you will also find the link of that video on the top right corner let's increase the size of the image so that they are clearly visible and let's select gray color for the line go to second sales field click on the color and select this gray color looks good so in this way we can create a barbell chart that will let you easily visualize the comparison between the different categories like here we are doing the comparison of sales between the west and the east region so this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this video i hope this session was helpful see you in the next tutorial